it's got Lee's strap on there, so I'm kind of <laughs> kind of junked up a little tight here, but, <laughs> but we'll see if I can do anything here. fun little banjo. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I probably should build a few more of those. I actually went to school up with Brian Gallup mm -hmm. up in central Michigan. Built a couple guitars up there and covered a lot of, you know, fretted instrument repair work. I know you had some other banjo building experience with another tenured season. Person. I did, yeah. When I came back from school there, Kind of got in touch with Lowe Gordon mm -hmm. over at Cedar Mountain. And we got along well. So as far as banjo construction, definitely Lowe is my intro to that. And I think you can probably still see that in my work. Some of the mm -hmm. some of the connections are, are you know, our love of, of letting the wood kind of show. The more I educated myself about banjos, the more interesting I found the history to be. Mm -hmm. Looking at kind of pre-Civil War banjos or mm -hmm. gourd banjos or just low tune banjos or the wide variety of banjo sizes, shapes. Mm -hmm. But I think both playing and in building, I think it's, it's complex enough to absorb any amount of expertise, interest, experimentation mm -hmm. uh, that you want to do with it. Lots so, of variables. Yeah. Well, speaking of variables, I want to go down and take a look at your shop because okay. I know that necessity is the mother of invention. And in your small shop, yep. you have a lot of examples of cleverness. <laughs> I have to ignore our Appalachian squalor here, you know, but it's required. So <laughs> it's part of the neighborhood. Inside the, the tiny banjo shop. So cool. Come right on in. Okay, so what's your square footage in your shop? Uh, about 150, I think. Yeah. I think the basic footprint was uh, 12 by 12, and I do have a little bump out, so 150, 160 maybe. I was talking about necessity being the mother of invention and some cleverness in how you've taken this space and made it accommodate so well for this shop. I see your router up there, and it's on yeah. a rather large board. Well, basically, in its most elemental form, it's just a table with a hole in it and a router attached to the underside of it. So that's what I have, and I can just hang it up on the wall. But when I need it, I can just bring it down, and it sits right here in the altar, as you say. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it's super low-tech. It's just plywood. If I, mostly, you know, between having a single fence and using the, any pattern routing bits to do some flesh trimming, you know, that's about all I use for the router. Let's see if I can get a little fretless going here. 